Well, howdy y'all. I am Dr. Danny Bass, orthodontist and owner of Family Orthodontics of Wellington. And today I am super excited to share with you an amazing case from a patient of mine that we treated his skeletal class three malocclusion using the non-surgical mu technique. Can't wait to show you his pictures. I interviewed the patient just after getting his braces off. So stick around for that patient interview. Come on in the office and let me show you what we did. And here we have James's initial bite. And a couple of things stand out to me in looking at this. Normally the top back teeth should be wider than the lower back teeth. But here you see in James's bite, the lower back teeth are all quite a bit wider than the upper back teeth. Also, at looking at the front teeth, the top front teeth normally should vertically overlap with the lower front teeth by about 20 to 30% of the length of the lower front teeth. But here you can see he has an opening between his front teeth of a couple of millimeters wide there. And that really can impact speech, that can impact your ability to bite into to food and tear food apart like eating sandwiches or pizza is hard because the front teeth don't overlap to tear the food apart so then the patient has to move the food to one side or the other and that can be challenging and pronouncing certain words and sounds can also be a challenge without having those teeth overlapping in the front so this is definitely something we need to correct looking at the left side of James's bite you can see if you look at the back teeth you can see that there's a little bit of space between all of the back teeth there are no contact on James's left side of his bite and that is definitely a problem those molars and premolars the side back teeth should be supporting all the forces of James's bite and James has strong muscles there's no back teeth to support all that force that's generated by those strong muscles here on his left side of the bite and then if you look at the front teeth the lower front teeth are way ahead of the upper front teeth normally the lower front teeth should be just behind the upper front teeth but in James's bite his lower front teeth are about four to six millimeters ahead of the upper front teeth and that is definitely something we need to fix and looking at the right side of his bite you can see that he has one contact point between the last tooth on the bottom in this picture with the second to last tooth on the top in this picture there was one small contact point those two teeth weren't fitting together properly at all but that one contact spot is supporting all the forces that James is generating from his bite. And when you only have one awkward contact like that, it puts a lot of stress on the joints and the facial muscles, creating a lot of pain and discomfort. And you're going to hear that from James here a little bit in the interview, but it's so important to have a well-supported bite because a well-supported bite supports the joints and helps patients to feel comfortable and to live pain-free and able to eat and function without any discomfort in their facial muscles or in the joints. And again, you can see in the front teeth in this picture, that separation where the lower teeth are way ahead. And there's also a little bit of crowding of those lower front teeth. And so when we straighten out that lower crowding, there's going to be even a little bit more space between the top and bottom front teeth. So this is a very severe malocclusion and super difficult to correct. On his cephalometric side view x-ray here, you can really appreciate how much farther forward those lower teeth are than the upper teeth. He has a severe class Class three open bite. Here is James's initial smile. And he's a good looking guy. He's got a great smile. Without looking at his bite, you would never know that he was suffering from TMJ pain. Traditionally, patients like James have one option to correct the severe class three open bite. And it's called orthognathic surgery, which is a very invasive option, breaking both the top and bottom jaws to surgically reposition the jaws to correct the bite. However, I'm so thankful I was trained in a very special orthodontic technique called the Mew Technique, the multi-loop edgewise archwire technique, which I could get into a whole lot more detail in another video if you guys want to hear more about that. But I'll just suffice it to say for now that it's a really awesome, amazing technique. Very few orthodontists are trained in this multi-loop edgewise archwire, the Mew Technique. Uh, and of those people who are trained, very few people actually practice it because it's also very technique sensitive. It takes a lot of time and practice to master this special technique. But most patients don't really want orthognathic surgery because it's so invasive. It's also very costly. Orthognathic surgery could easily cost $60,000, $60,000 just with the surgery alone, not including the orthodontic treatment, 
to undergo. So it's invasive, it's costly. Uh, most of the time patients that do the surgery are out of work for at least one to two months recovering. It's a massive recovery afterwards. So there's a lot of reasons why orthognathic surgery might not be an ideal option for a lot of patients. So oftentimes these patients have a severe malocclusion that don't want surgery. They're looking for a conservative option that doesn't involve surgery. And then that's where I come in with the Mu technique because it's conservative. We don't have to take out any premolars. We don't require any surgery to break the jaws. We're just positioning the teeth in the jaws in a non surgical conservative approach and we can get the patients to having a good comfortable healthy bite without having to do any invasive procedures and for that reason it's a huge benefit and blessing to these patients and so i've been so thankful to have had the opportunity to work with patients from all over our country flying in for appointments driving from hours and hours away because there's so few people that actually do this technique and you'll hear from my next patient after this video, uh, one of my patients flew in from Virginia for all of his appointments over two years to do this Mew treatment with us. And I'll show you his video in the next orthodontics production that I make after James's video here. But we've had patients fly from all over the place, drive in from hours and hours away to avoid the need for surgery. And it's one of my favorite things to do because oftentimes these patients have been told their whole lives that there's no option for correcting their bite without having to do this invasive surgical procedure, which they just didn't want to do. And then they find me into their adult years and I give them hope and I give them results and it is so rewarding. This has become one of my favorite things to do. Here is James's final result. He had 23 months of treatment and look at that transformation. If you look at his upper back teeth, you would see that they're all wider than the lower back teeth, which is how they should be. They're all fitting together nicely. And when you look at the front teeth, you see that the lower front teeth are just behind the upper front teeth with a slight amount of vertical overlapping, which is exactly what we were going for. Here is the left side of his bite. And again, you can see how nicely those back teeth are coming together and how those lower front teeth are just behind the upper front teeth and on his right side you can see the same thing great interdigitation of the back teeth and the lower front teeth are just behind the upper front teeth on his side view cephalometric x-ray you can see how those lower front teeth are behind the upper front teeth and how those back teeth are all nice and level and fitting together here is James's final smile picture and wow look at that smile he looks great great. He's got what I like to call the infinity smile where those back teeth just keep going back and back and back. and um, They fill in his cheeks so nicely. It's like there's no end to the smile. And also when you look at his smile, you can really see his lower teeth a lot more than you could before his treatment. When we closed down that open bite in the front, we were able to get a nice amount of lower incisor show. And I'm just so proud of James and so thankful I got to work with him. So without further ado, y'all let's meet James. And I've got my amazing patient James here with me today. James just got his braces off here this morning and we're so excited to share his amazing smile and bite transformation. James thanks so much for filming with me here today. I really appreciate it. Your smile and bite look amazing but take me back to before we got started and what made you want to pursue orthodontic treatment? Whew, yeah, so uh, it all started probably about four years ago. I really started to notice a transformation in my smile, followed up with, you know, just the difference in my speech, and then I wasn't able to really eat foods that I normally could eat. Mm -hmm. uh, so I definitely noticed the change there. So something had to, had to happen. Before we got started, did you feel any pain in your jaw joints or in your bite? I did, yeah. So I had a lot of pain when I first came to see you two years ago. And it was really concentrated right here in my cheeks. It was just tense mm. all the time. I was having headaches nonstop. Mm. Um, so when you were able to evaluate me, you noticed that I only really had the one contact point on my on my tooth that was really forcing all of that uh, pressure. Had you looked for other orthodontic consultations before you came to see us? I did. So I went and I visited with a couple of other orthodontists in my area. They all recommended that I needed surgery just mm. due to the nature of my bite. Uh, my dentist as well. I ended up going to get an MRI on my jaw just to see what was going on there. I thought maybe I had TMJ. So I did a lot of research and investigating on my own to kind of figure out what my treatment was. Mm -hmm. um, 
and through that research, I found uh, a lot of this information about the Mew yeah. technique. Mm -hmm. Once I found out that I had a class three bite, mm -hmm. what does that really mean for me? You know, came across a video on YouTube what do you know? for family orthodontics hey, uh, right. and kind of learned a little bit about it through your practice. That's great. Shout out to Angela if you're watching. You did a great job. Thanks yeah. so much for sharing that video on the Mew technique. I'm so glad you found Angela's videos. Yeah. Uh, she's amazing. Shout out Angela if you're watching this. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. What was your experience going through treatment here with us with the Mew Technique? My experience here at Family Orthodontics has just been top notch. Mm -hmm. Everything from you, uh, the staff is just absolutely wonderful. Everybody just wants to get to know me, right? It was mm -hmm. like a personal touch that I really appreciated coming mm -hmm. here. My, my treatment time here has gone by faster than I could ever imagine, right? It's, I look forward to coming here oh, to seeing everybody. Man, that's great, James. And certainly it's been a pleasure getting to know you as a friend. And of course we respect and treat you as a patient, but even more so than that, just kind of getting to know you and becoming like family and friends. and. We just genuinely really enjoyed getting to see you for all of your visits. Congrats on your amazing smile and your Thank amazing you. new bite. So how do you feel now? I feel great. I cannot stop looking in the mirror at my smile. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> seeing, seeing the before and after pictures, I just, I can't even believe the transformation. I know you've told me about it a bunch, right? Just the progress, but seeing it now with the brackets off and everything, it's just blowing my mind Wow! The, the job that you were able to do. Thank you so much, James. And I'm so proud of your resolve. I'm so happy for you. And how does it feel as far as like the joints and the pain are concerned? I haven't really had a whole lot of pain ever since we really got into this, which was great. Um, the bite just feels normal, I guess, right? I Good. didn't really know what normal was yeah. uh, until you got in there and started moving things around. So uh, everything fits great. Wonderful. way it should be right man i'm so glad to hear that <laughs> it's so good to experience that normal and i'm just so happy for you it's one of my favorite things to do to see patients go from that awkward bite where things don't fit together there's pain uh, discomfort not being able to eat and chew and speak properly and then that transformation happens and it's just wow like everything fits the pain is gone couldn't be happier for you you had an amazing transformation and it's been so much fun getting to work together getting to rejoice with you as your family grew as well while you're here with us yeah. so that was really exciting and just getting to watch you through that journey i'm so happy for you yeah, congratulations on your new smile and bite so honored to have been able to take great care of you here thank you for that opportunity and we appreciate you and just pray god bless you and your family and all that you set out to do thank you for great. filming this with us today and for anybody out there who might be in a similar situation like james explained that uh, you're jaw is off, the bite is off, there's pain and lack of uh, comfort and function. Maybe you've been told that you need orthognathic surgery. I uh, would love to meet with you and just see if you'd be a great candidate for the Mew technique as well to transform your smile and bite without having to undergo the very difficult procedure and costly procedure of orthognathic surgery. Uh, so if we could help you, that would be awesome. Uh, give us a call. We'd love to see uh, what, what we might be able to do for you. But James, thank you so much. Congratulations. You. You're thank amazing. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I appreciate you. God bless. <laughs> so long.